Las Vegas during the coronavirus part two. Um, I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, and I try to go over topics that are relevant to people in the community, um, and not just about real estate, but I also like to talk about things happening in Las Vegas. Today's video, I'm gonna go over the latest news of what is currently going on in Las Vegas and how the coronavirus is affecting us as of today, which is March 16th, 2020. And hopefully I will provide relevant information throughout this week um, and the weeks to come about what is happening here in Las Vegas. And I'm sure across the country, everyone's taken precautions. So far to date in the state of Nevada, there have only been 26 cases reported uh, with people testing positive with the coronavirus, which is not bad. However, with everyone taking precautions, we can stop the spread of this epidemic. It's crazy. Yesterday, Governor Sisolak announced that all schools in the state of Nevada starting today will be closed until um, April 13th when they get back from their school break. And this is tentatively, it could go longer, it just depends on how bad this virus gets. And this closure actually hits the Clark County School District the hardest because we are the fifth largest school district in the country. And there are about 332,000 students that rely on free or reduced lunches. And I feel sad for those parents who have to go to work and do not know who's going to take care of their children. That is very, very scary um, and sad. If you are able to volunteer to help these families in need, I suggest you do so. Maybe go into your next door app, see what's going on with your community, make recommendations, um, and just help out with your community. That's the key is that we need to stand strong together and help out. However, the Clark County School District did announce that they are providing 15 sites across Southern Nevada for students to be able to have access to free and reduced lunch. And this will be provided from 8 to 11, Monday through Friday. And students and parents can pick up academic materials while they're there. The key is that the student has to be there with the parent when they receive their free breakfast or lunch at 11. And I'm gonna go over the list of locations, but I, I will also post all the locations down in the description below. And they're all located at high schools across the valley. The first high school was Basic High School, um, Canyon Springs High School, Centennial High School, Chaparral, Cheyenne, Cimarron, Cimarron Memorial, Clark High School, Desert Pines, Las Vegas High School, Mojave, Shadow Ridge, Sierra Vista, Silverado, Spring Valley and Veterans CTA, which is a magnet school. So all those schools will be providing reduced or free lunches to those students that need it. As mentioned in my previous video, UNLV and UNR will go to online classes starting on March 23rd, and we don't know how long that's gonna last. So now I'm gonna go over news of what's happening in Las Vegas as a whole. Um, Wynn Resorts is going to be shutting down both its casinos starting on Tuesday, which is the Wynn Las Vegas and the Encore. And the good thing is that all full-time employees will be continued to be paid through this entire shutdown, which is awesome for Wynn uh, Resorts to do that. And then the Las Vegas Sand Court properties will remain open without layoffs, which is the Venetian and the Palazzo. Caesars Corp announced that all live entertainment has been canceled. And then, as I mentioned in my video on Saturday, that MGM had announced last Friday that they will be laying off and putting people on furlough, I think this Tuesday, and will close all the restaurants. And then on Sunday, MGM Resorts International announced that on Tuesday, they will be temporarily shutting down all of their casinos. And that's huge. I'm gonna read off my list what casinos are included in this shutdown. And obviously, Bellagio, MGM Grand, Mandalay Bay, The Mirage, Luxor, New York, New York, Excalibur, and Park MGM are all going to be shut down. And then, um, I guess MGM owns 50% of City Center, which will be the Vidara and Aria closed down. So that's 
that's huge. We are going to be a major ghost town. It's kind of scary. And long time Penn and Teller have gone dark and David Copperfield has canceled all his shows. Um, the Academy of Country Music Awards show was scheduled to broadcast in Las Vegas and obviously that has been postponed. Cirque de Soleil has been um, halting all its shows on the Strip. And Fremont Street Experience is pulling all its live entertainment on open stages um, effective immediately. Seven of the Nevada State Museums have been shut down and Discovery Children's Museum here in Las Vegas has been shut down as well as the Mom Museum. Conventions big or small has always been the lifeblood of the Las Vegas economy. One report from the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority found Las Vegas conventions and business meetings generated 6.3 billion of direct economic impact and about 6.6 .6 million business travelers in 2018. So that is huge if you think about it. And the visitation drop has been quite visible on the strip already and there are more employees cleaning on the strip than there are people. It's kind of crazy. And then I'm just going to go over briefly little snippets that I picked up of world news that's going on that I thought was kind of important to know. Urban Outfitters has shut down all its facilities. However, you can buy online still. Nike's closing all its stores, and that includes the stores here in Las Vegas and even in the Prim Outlet Mall. Starbucks announced on Sunday that they're going to close all their seating areas and only keep open the drive through and then a walk-in service, but no one can sit and mingle in Starbucks. And they may be closing down some of their major um, coffee shops in like hotels and restaurants where there's a lot of people. And the feds created an emergency act where they um, lower the interest rates to nearly 0%, which is their lowest level since the Great Depression. And on one report, I saw that the economy can lose up to $120 billion by the end of March due to the coronavirus and with so many companies shutting down. Um, and just real quick, I'm going to post down in the description um, where I get this information from that way that you know that my information is accurate but basically there's a link for the Center for Infectious Disease and then there's also a link for the Nevada Independent and then I will also post a link for the Nevada Review Journal where I get most of my information from and everyone can obviously do what I'm doing and check out the review journal but sometimes i think it's nice to have it all in one place of what is happening around here in las vegas and across the country we don't know what's going to happen the grocery stores and walmart and target all those places are the shelves are empty and um and i feel bad for the people that didn't jump on the bandwagon because people are, have been hoarding which is awful um but what we need to do as a nation and as a community is stand together. They may quarantine us. We may have to stay in our homes and I hope all of you are prepared. If not, we need to stand together as a community and help each other out. Again, as I mentioned, go on the Nextdoor app. Be a part of Nextdoor. See what's going on in your community. Volunteer if you need be. If you're a stay-at-home parent, maybe help watch other parents' kids. I don't know what else there is to suggest. If you bolt up on toilet paper, please share your toilet paper. Really, I mean, come on. <laughs> it's crazy how people bulked up on toilet paper. Yes, we are in an epidemic, but what is the deal with all the toilet paper? Luckily, I went to Lowe's this morning and they have tons of paper towels which you can always break up and utilize that for tissue if you need it. Um, there are ways to get around things. But if we are in quarantine, I hope that you guys have stocked up and got ton of food in your pantry and you are set for at least a couple of weeks because we don't know how long this is going to last and we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Things are changing constantly. I hope that you've liked this video and I hope that I will be able to produce relevant content for our fellow Las Vegans. I'm a local Las Vegas realtor. I have been in Vegas for over 30 years. I know the city in and out. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. If you like my video, you know what to do there. 
Um, as always, I appreciate you supporting my channel and watching. Thank you so much. Be safe, wash your hands, and I will be praying for you.